So I'm in Unity here in a very basic scene in which I've added this plain object and a red cylinder. And what my aim is here is to use the accelerometer on the mobile device to control the movement of the cylinder in the scene. Now the accelerometer of a mobile device generally detects movement. It is a triaxial configuration and that means that you can move your device in three different axes and it will detect the motion in those axes, so the axes are X, Y and Z, and it can detect how fast you are moving the device in those directions. And it provides you with information back from those axes using a vector-based input. And I want to read that input from the accelerometer to control the movement of this object in the scene here. And the first thing I should mention is that you could be holding your device in portrait or landscape mode and it really doesn't matter because what Unity does is regardless of the orientation at which you are holding the device, the world axes, the X, Y and Z axes in the world, they are aligned to the device so that the Z axis is always pointing outwards from your screen away from you, not towards you, but away from you into the distance. Y is always pointing upwards out of the top of your screen and X is pointing to the right hand side away from the side of your screen. So that is how the world axes are aligned to the orientation of the mobile device. So to get started I'm going to create a completely new script file here in the project panel. I'm going to right click and choose create and then choose C sharp script and I will call this mobile control like so and press enter on the keyboard. I will then double click on this to open that in mono develop. So I'm here in mono develop in the mobile control class that I've just created and since we're going to be using the accelerometer to effectively control the movement of this object I'll need access to its transform component so I'm going to add a new variable which is going to be called this transform which will reference the transform attached to this object and I'll get a reference to that in the awake function so I'm going to change the start function from the awake and this is called when the object is created in the scene and I'm going to choose get component transform which will get the transform component attached to this object that there is all pretty straightforward I also want to give this object a movement speed which is the speed it's going to move in any particular direction here so I'm going to choose public float and I'm going to give this a speed of let's say 2 meters per second. In the update function I now want to get access to the accelerometer data and you can do that by typing input dot acceleration and this is a vector 3 structure so we can get the acceleration in the x, y or the z axis. So for example let's just take a look at how this works by choosing debug dot log and I'm just going to log the information that I get back here from the acceleration so I'm just going to effectively print the acceleration to the Unity console here so I'm going to just exit out of mono develop return back here to the Unity editor and I will clear the console and I'll drag and drop this script onto the cylinder object in the scene before I press play I'm going to make sure that in the project settings editor that I have an Android device selected and you can see here in Unity remote device Android device is selected which means that when I press play on the toolbar and I switch to the console you can see that as I tilt and move around the device we get that vector 3 structure from the accelerometer changing there and giving me different values and different numbers now of course these numbers they don't really mean very much like this it's not clear what all of them mean on their own and I'm going to show you initially how you can get these numbers to drive the movement of an object but there are several problems with it in its default state and we'll take a look at what they are in just a moment so I'm going to stop playback here and I'm going to clear the console and go back to mono develop now if I wanted to drive the movement of our object based on the accelerometer input I can simply use this transform dot position and I can update my position with a new vector 3 and this will allow me to accumulate uh, basically movement on my position so I've got a new vector 3 in X, Y and Z here 
Now for X movement of our object, I want it to be based on the accelerometer, so I'm going to choose input.acceleration.x multiplied by my speed, multiplied by time dot delta time, like so. And because these axes are aligned, the world axes are aligned here to the accelerometer, this is going to work here. I don't want to change the value or the position of the object on the y-axis. I want to leave the cylinder aligned to the ground plane, so I don't want my input to change that. So I'm only going to be working here on the z-axis, and I'm going to choose input.acceleration.z times my speed times time dot delta time, like so. And I'm going to return back to Unity here and let that compile. And now when I press play, we have the ability to control the movement of the cylinder based on the tilt of the device that's read back here from the accelerometer. So I'm now tilting my device left, we're moving left, tilting it right, we're moving right. The big problem with this, however, is that when I'm angling the device in a neutral pose in my hand, the object is continually moving forwards. If I want the object to come back in reverse, I effectively have to flip my device pretty much all the way around so that I can no longer see the screen at all. So right now my device is upside down to bring that, that object back here. And if I want to keep it still, I effectively have to hold the device completely upright as though I'm using it to take a photograph. And that really means that I don't get to see the screen at a very good angle. I see it at a grazing angle and I can't see it properly. So I just need to hold it upright to keep the object maintained in its position. So that's a problem that we have with the accelerometer using these default values. What would be better is if we could effectively measure the tilt angle of the device so that we could see the change in the angle as the object, as the device tilts across its axes based from some initial resting pose. So for me, the resting pose of this device might be holding it at about 45 degrees in my hands so I can see the device properly. That would be the resting pose. And when I rotate away from that pose, then I want the object to move. So we'll see how to get started at coding that next.